Hello everyone, welcome to Podmas 2018 for Shelly Saves the Day. And if you don't know what Podmas is, this is an experiment where I will be releasing or trying to release a podcast every day up until Christmas. I hope you're excited to have some new content coming at you from my podcast. I know I'm super excited and I am ready to go. So let's go ahead and get this party started. Welcome to Podmas. Hello everyone, welcome to Podmas Day 2. If you are new here and you missed yesterday's episode, we were going through my list of goals and doing a check-in on how I did, how I didn't do on some of the goals that I set for myself for 2018. Today, I'm going to go a little bit different route and what I want to do, I want to share with you five different books that have helped me along my YouTube journey. And I just thought this would be a good way to share with you and talk to you about them. And then I will put them all in the show notes. So if you're interested in these, you will find them under the podcast section of my website. So you'll see it under Shelly Saves a Day slash Podmas. It'll be 102 because yesterday was 101. So today is 102. Okay, so that out of the way, if you're interested in checking out any of the books, that's where you can find them. And then you don't have to listen through the whole thing if you don't want to, which is totally fine. So the very first one at the top of the pile, these are in no random order. It's not a top five, nothing like that. The first book is called YouTube Secrets, The Ultimate Guide to Growing Your Following and Making Money as a Video Influencer. That's a mouthful. (laughs) But this book is written by Sean Cannell and Benji Travis. They are the masterminds behind the channel Video Influencers. And if you haven't checked out their channel on YouTube, you should definitely check it out. I really enjoy when they do interviews with video creators and you get an inside look into what it takes to be an influencer on the platform. Now, one thing I really like about this duo, they are very different and they both have their own spin on YouTube, and they've both been on the platform for a very long time. It's a really interesting backstory in history. If you go back and look at how they first got introduced to being on the platform, how their videos looked in the very beginning, and what they look like now. But in this one, they're going to be talking about essential ingredients for a profitable channel, strategies for getting views and subscribers, extra ways to make money on YouTube, and like tons more. I saw them both speak not only at uh, a book release party in Seattle, but I ran into both of them down at VidSummit down in LA this past October. I'm even in a couple of Facebook groups with Sean Cannell, and I'm really interested in the, the dance charity efforts that Benji and his wife Judy do, which is about this time you're going to be seeing Dance Sember. And so I think it's really amazing what they've done with their platform because they went from, you know, raising a little bit of money to a lot of money for this charity. And I just think that's really, really cool. So that is the first book is YouTube Secrets by Sean Cannell and Benji Travis. I definitely think if you were to pick up that book, it would be uh, beneficial to you. The second book is called Tube Ritual. Jumpstart Your Journey to 5,000 YouTube Subscribers, and it is by Brian G. Johnson. Brian G. Johnson also has a really great Facebook group, which I am part of. It's Tube Ritual Community, and it's got, you know, a good 20, 30, 40,000 members inside of it. The people inside the Facebook group are extremely helpful, extremely knowledgeable, um, very kind. So if you are looking for another Facebook group to join, One thing I do like about that Facebook group is it is not a spam group, so it's definitely one worth checking out. And I do love that anytime you buy a book or watch Brian G. Johnson's channel, you are supporting Feeding Poodles because he is very, very, um, very clear on that point that, you know, his poodles are hungry and helping out his channel helps his poodles. But um, it's got some really great reviews on it by, you know, people that I know and respect like Nick Nimmin, Salma Jaffrey. Um, just a whole bunch of people. And it's really about how to amplify your message, inspire action, staking your claim online, a bit about optimization, about, you know, common pitfalls and actually just finding your own voice. And I think that's really cool. So I would definitely check that out if you 
have never seen it before. So it is called Two Ritual, Jumpstart Your Journey to 5,000 YouTube Subscribers by Brian G. Johnson. Okay, the next one, this is number three, and this is by Amy Schmittauer, and now her name, now that she's married, is Amy Landino, but she put out a book, and it was called Vlog Like a Boss, and she also had that as her channel name for um, quite a while, and it was Vlog Boss Radio on her, on her podcast radio station and everything, and her book is How to Kill It Online with Video Blogging, and I love this so much that on the jacket cover, there's a little quote from Gary V. And it says, Amy knows how to crush it to get attention. She got mine. Take notes. And that is high praise coming from, you know, one of the fathers of video blogging slash documenting slash motivation. And um, it's going to be a recurring theme here in a little bit. But I've always enjoyed Amy's channel, Amy's uh, YouTube and her personality. And she has a kind of dry, witty, sarcastic humor. I know she's done some video uh, book reviews, musical book reviews, which I think were like really funny. And I I know that's how she got the attention of Gary Vee in the first place. And I just really like her down to earth, um, no BS. I just, it was such a good book. This one is such an easy read. It's so fast to get through. The chapters are super short, but there's always something actionable at the end of each chapter that she wants you to try and take away or implement or do and I really like that about it so it's a quick read (laughs) it doesn't take much time at all and I, I really recommend this book I think that she's got it down she's been doing it for a while she's been helping a lot of businesses figure out how to do this and her writing style and I know that she did it as an audio book as well I would love to get my hands on that because I think that would be awesome to hear her words with like I can always hear it in my head how I think that she's reading it and writing it but it's another thing to actually have them say the word so um that's definitely a high recommendation vlog like a boss how to kill it online with video blogging by Amy Schmittauer I don't know if she's changed her name yet to Amy Landino on new printings of it so if you search Amy Landino or Amy Schmidt Tower, you should be able to find it. Or the name of the book hasn't changed, so it's Vlog Like a Boss. Okay, my last two books are actually by the same person, but there is a specific reason why. Now, I love all of the books in his library, but these two are great because for two different reasons. So what I love most about this, we're going to be talking about the first one, and it's Gary Vaynerchuk, Why Now is the Time to Crush It, Cash In on Your Passion. This is a super short read. You can definitely tell he's not a writer. He's having someone help him with this. You know, he's going to say the F-bomb. He's going to say bad words. He's going to give you analogies that are just kind of a little bit more raunchy and real. But I love that about this. And it's just great. And the cool thing about Crush It! And then the follow-up book. I mean, I'm going to say the others are great too. Like Jab, Jab, Right Hook and Ask Gary V. And, you know, the community of kindness or whatever it's called but one thing I love the second um, book I'm going to say from him is the follow-up which is crushing it how great entrepreneurs build their business and influence and how you can too one of the coolest things about this is that so Amy Schmittauer from the last book vlog like a boss and then she makes an appearance again as crushing it because basically it's following up on a lot of the people from crush it or people who have read crush it and used and applied the advice and info that's in there and how they applied it in their vertical whatever it is and then checking in and they're kind of saying like you helped me do this and I just think it's so cool that it comes full circle from I wrote this first book it's helping you do things and now here it is with you know a second follow-up book so of course it's a New York best time seller and you got lots of people talking about, you know, the second one, like Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Jessica Alba and Casey Neistat and John Mayer and, of course, Amy Schmittauer. So I definitely would recommend that book, checking it out. It's more of the same. It's that same kind of, you know, no BS and no, like, holds barred on that one. So if you enjoy the first book or you enjoy the content of his channel, then you will enjoy the books because they read kind of the same way. Okay, those are the top five books that I am recommending for someone who is kind of investigating more into YouTube 
and kind of figuring out how is my message going to get out there? What kind of questions do I need to ask myself? What are the practical steps that I can do? If you read these books in your free time, I know you have some at night before you go to bed, instead of scrolling Instagram for two hours, you spend a little bit of time, 20 minutes a night, silent sustained reading time like you used to do in school where they would force you to do it. But do that. Take some time to feed your brain, feed your soul, feed your own ambitions and goals and like and your dreams. And I think that that time is better spent reading these books than just spending another 20 minutes on social media where you feel bad about yourself because you aren't as pretty or as rich or going on as many fancy trips. So I would just take this time to really, really take a minute and feed your brain and your soul. Okay, that is going to wrap it up for Podmas Day 2, and I will see you all in an episode tomorrow. Thank you for tuning in so much. Bye-bye. That's going to wrap it up for today's Podmas episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you've enjoyed our time together, I would love it if you gave a five-star review on whatever listening platform you are tuning in from. I do not take our time together for granted. I know you could be anywhere and listening to anyone and you chose to spend your time with me and I really appreciate that. I will see you in a Podmas episode very soon. Thanks guys. Bye.